The aircraft carrier may be docked in Jefferson County, but Kimberly Tovar won't believe it until she sees her husband. I'm pretty sure if you were to ask any other spouse, they would tell you that this deployment literally felt like the deployment with, with, no, with no return date. Her husband, Joel Tovar, a second generation sailor who left college early to enlist in the Navy, is on that aircraft carrier. Part of a fleet sent to the Middle East for what was supposed to be a six month deployment. That was before the pandemic. Kimberly Tovar is a nurse in Western Washington. Having to see and experience all of those things and then not having my husband to come home at the end of the day was, was really rough. While she was on the front lines of the pandemic, he was somewhere in the Middle East. A deployment extended by the pandemic and by rising tensions between the U.S. and Iran. Sailors and Marines that spent holidays on the ship took a call from President Biden during the Super Bowl, and by the time they returned to port, they logged the longest deployment since Vietnam. These sailors and Marines gave it their all for nearly a year, tirelessly answering the nation's call again and again as they stood to watch for our nation and Navy. Tonight, they're going home. This time, even though I know they're already in the sound, I still feel like they're going to be like, psych, got you. Like, it, it's not actually going to happen. This time, it really happened. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.